Welcome. Today, I want to talk to you about the Tartarus version 2 and how I have it set up for World of Warcraft. When you install your Tartarus, when you plug it in, it should automatically start installing the drivers and the software. The software would be Synapse. If you open that up, it should display this screen here under keypad and it'll have a default layout profile. What I would recommend you do is you add a new profile. I got this one called WoW. And what I've done is on the first two rows, I've put all my F keys, one through five and six through 10. Then I have one through five, six through nine. Then over here on the side, I've got zero and F12. How you do this is you just select the key. Then over here on the left, you'll see key bind function. And what you're gonna do is press the key you want. So this one I have is F1. I'll press F1 and click save. And you do that for each key. And then you'll have a profile set up for key map. Yeah, set up a key map also. That way you'll have this profile set up. Then what you wanna do this way, if you set up profiles, when you open a game or a program that it tells you that you want to use a certain profile, it'll automatically change. So when I open WoW, it'll automatically switch to the WoW profile and have my key bindings. I don't have to go in there and change things. Set up a profile and then link game and then select the game you want to have in that particular profile. So I have one set up for Overwatch, so when I play Overwatch, it'll automatically switch to that profile and the key bindings I have set up. When I play World of Warcraft, it'll do the same thing. And right now I'm setting up another profile for another game, but that's for another time. So once you have this all set up, next thing you wanna do is you need to get a add-on called Bartender 4. The way I do it, I use the Twitch app. What you will be looking for is Bartender 4. Install this. Then we wanna go to World of Warcraft. Click on add-ons. Just make sure Bartender is selected. I need to tell you about one thing I forgot to put in the recording originally. If you have other add-ons that control your bars, Installing Bartender, they will conflict with each other, which I use LV, L E L V U I. It controls action bars also. The nice thing about it is if you have it enabled, it will tell you if there is something else trying to control them. So like right here, it says add-on Bartender 4 is not compatible. Uh, which one do you want to disable? So, so I want to disable the ELV UI action bar. But I just want to throw that into the tutorial so you don't get confused there. So in World of Warcraft, we want to go to the bartender. And that should look like a mug of uh, ale. Let's right click on it. And then you'll see your bars one through 10 bag bar micro bar all that fun stuff first thing i like to do is i like to get rid of the art bar which is that old bar there and you can get rid of the micro bar and bag bar if you want i have other add-ons that uh, handle all that stuff a few of the bars open as you can see over here on the left here and I have them arranged the same way as the Tartars. I got two bars, two bars. So this is my F1 through F10. Then one through zero. All right, in Bartender, we're going to set the rows of two. The amount of buttons, 10. We're gonna do that for bar one. Bar two, I have set for a row of two nine buttons. 
That's because right here I use the number 10 on the pad for jump. So I'm not going to have any action there. Then if you want to use these other bars, you can do it either way you want. But in Bartender, now to get your buttons working over here, we're going to go key binding. You hover over it. Uh, hit escape if, if there's already some buttons already in there just to clear them out. So hover over it. Clear it. And then you hit F1. F2. F3, F4, F5, and it'll keybind those to those bars. And then click OK. Then you can drag all your actions over there through through your spell book and talents. Now for jumping and moving, what I have. key bindings by default the directional pad turns left and right instead of strafing so what I did here is uh, I went in here and did a secondary key binding so select that hit left select that hit right and jump at number 10 I set that up for jump so when I want to jump, I just move my index finger up and I never have to move my hand off the, the directional pad. Because by default, if you left the default profile on this, the 20 is your space bar, which is jump in World of Warcraft. That means you can't go forward and jump at the same time. For me to do running and jumping at the same time, I just got to move my index finger. And one other thing here. Let's actually bring this back up. Uh, bar five. Well, let me bring that up here a little bit. So bar five, you'll see right here I have F12 and zero here. Zero, zero is this button here. F12 is down here. So if I want to interrupt, I just slap my finger down there for an interrupt. So... Should be able to move find on your directional pad and jump and move at the same time and if you set it up the same way I have it here and I have all my main attacks 11 through 15 and then just all my secondary like buffs I have just above it and below it interrupt right there where the thumb is so I can just slap it real quick it's the quickest way I have found to do an interrupt since you don't use it that often. But that is the simplest way I have found to set this game up with mm, the way I have it set up since I did alternate key bindings. If you want to use your keyboard, you should be able to just go right directly back to your keyboard. Uh, setting this up from the time of setting it up, figuring out what I really wanted. It probably took me about a week to really get used to it. Thank you for watching.